And the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Housing. What recent reports has he received on housing New Zealand's smarter, faster, fairer housing service? <laughs> the Speaker. Honourable Morris Williamson. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Housing, I receive regular reports about the progress, implementation and evaluation of the Corporation's new service delivery model. These reports include updates on the Corporation's Customer Services Centre, which show there has been recently a vast improvement in the level of service customers are receiving. For example, the average time to answer a call for July to date is just 1 minute and 54 seconds compared with 6 minutes and 53 seconds in April. Pre-assessments are now done at the CSC. This is a much more efficient process. The number of pre-assessments has more than doubled since the launch of the CSC program. This shows that changes that the corporation is making are modernising the way it does business and making it quicker and easier for its customers to engage with the corporation. The Honourable Annette King. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Is it smarter, faster or fairer to house people in squalor? For the Minister to never seek a briefing on the slum conditions some of his tenants are living in, to never seek an investigation into the many complaints about those conditions, and never question the safety of his tenants. The Honourable Morris Williams. On behalf of the Minister of Housing, no, because that is not the case. The Honourable Annette King. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Has he been advised that the King Cobra gang members have accessed empty housing New Zealand flats in Auckland, are squatting in them and selling drugs, frightening the neighbours, and the flats are now without proper security or a resident caretaker because of his smarter, faster, fairer policy changes. The Honourable Morris Williamson. On behalf of the Minister of Housing, Mr Speaker, nothing in the brief I received today mentions the King Cobra gang. Uh, the Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker, I, oh, this point of order? Yes, I point seek, of order, order, the Honourable I seek leave to table written answers from the Minister of Housing, uh, telling me that he has never sought information order. about no the order. conditions. Order, no order. We members know we don't table answers to written questions in the House. All members have access to those. Dr Megan Woods. Thank you. Under his smarter, faster, fairer policy, what priority would a family of five, including two sick children, living in a damp, poorly sealed caravan parked in a relative's driveway for the past six months receive from Housing New Zealand? The Honourable Morris Williamson. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Housing, I'm advised that all cases reported to the Housing Corporation are prioritised based on the level of need. It's a triage process that has worked for a long time, and those people who are in real need are dealt with quickly. Tarot off level. Mr. Speaker, kia ora tātou katoa to the Minister. Is he satisfied that the Crown is a good landlord uh, given the state of overcrowding and poor quality housing? And what will he be doing to improve the conditions of housing New Zealand homes, particularly recognising that those living in crowded homes and in crowded conditions have increased risk of, a, of the transmission of certain infectious diseases? The Honourable Morris Williamson. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Housing, yes, I am satisfied, but I think the Crown could always do better through Housing New Zealand. However, I want to share some numbers with uh, the House. The average money spent on maintenance of Housing New Zealand Corporation properties nationwide since 2008 has been $202 million, far more than the average spend of the Labor government, which for a similar period was about $133 million. Dr Megan Woods. Thank you. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Has he ever sat down with agencies and individuals working on the ground in the housing sector, such as the Baptist Church and other churches, health workers and the Salvation Army, to see if the government can work with them to fix the housing crisis in Christchurch? The Honourable Morris Williams. Well, on behalf of the Minister of Housing, it's always difficult to answer a specific question like that, but I'm certain the Minister has sat down with a number of organisations and talked through the issues, uh, just as most members on this House have done. Question number 11, Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr.